Hello? Hi, Carol. Uh-huh. Hey there, it's Roy from the Homeowners Association. Yes, uh-huh. And I just needed to let you know that tonight we're going to be beaming microwave energy into your backyard. Oh. Um, so you probably just don't want to go out there tonight. Okay. Um, can I ask why? Uh, it's just an experiment. It's for science. We're just uh, we're beaming microwave energy uh, into your backyard from a satellite in space. Why? Uh, for, for science. Other than for science. I, I know a little bit about science. Can you give me a little bit mi- mi- more detail? Science. 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 Um, well, it's, it's with the Chinese government. Um, they're just, I'm not sure what they're doing exactly. They're just trying to, they're just experimenting. And they're sending the microwave beams into your backyard. Okay, well, uh, you'll have some reflection in the backyard if you beam anything into my oh, backyard. Wait, no, no, don't lay down aluminum foil, ma'am. That'll mess it up. Okay, well, you're pretty messed up yourself. What What are you talking about reflection? What are you going to do? Deflect microwaves from the Chinese. Uh, don't do that, though, because that'll mess up the experiment and we won't get paid. Well, you know what? You're not going to eat tonight because you're not going to get paid. Well, d- don't do that. Are you going to cover your... Just whatever you do, don't don't layer your entire yard with aluminum foil. Definitely it's going to be layered with aluminum foil. Don't, not a problem. Ma'am, don't I, do that or we're going to fine you. You're going to get a fine from the Homeowners Association. Not today. Oh, yes, you will. If you put aluminum foil in your backyard... You, you, it's you, my backyard. You can't do that, I though. have right. You can't and do that. And that's not in the covenants of this homeowners association. So don't worry about it. I'm covered, and you don't have to worry about my fees. But, ma'am, just don't do it. You're going to mess up the experiment. This is a billion-dollar satellite in space. Well, you send me the billion space, dollars, space, and I'll, space, I won't put the, my, my aluminum foil down. Oh, we're not sending you I, shit, ma'am. It's not yours. Hello? Hello? Hi, is this Roy Co. Trucking? Uh, no. No! No! Oh. Fuck you. Fuck you. How you doing? Shit, shit. I am the Easter Bunny. Shit, shit. Well, where, where, where? No, you're not. Whoa. Shit, fuck. Because you're not? Fuck. Oh, Lord. You get off of my phone. My mother is retarded. Oh, I see. Yeah. Supervisor immediately. I don't give a shit what other people do. Well, 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 we know that that's not good business. You you bring it to our house. You throw the box on side the road. It's on side the road. No, side no. the road. What is this bullshit? I'm sick of your bullshit. I'm hanging up. Yeah. Yeah. Immediately. But they, okay. They, they, Sorry. They, Thank for, you. Thanks for being uh-huh. an unhelpful cunt. cunt. Yeah. Hi. Hello. Is Mary Brown? It's time to step up. Hey there, you're listening to the Snowplow Show. This is episode 557, and it's brought to you by Mr. John, another prank call show, Ryan Jardina, Anagol009, or is that Anagol009? I don't know. And the Mad Weasel. Those are just five of the many supporters that help keep this show going over at patreon.com slash phone losers. And, you know, on the other things, thank you everybody for supporting the show. And thanks to a couple of the new people, like Vito, L, and Josie. They've signed up recently, this past week. Oh yeah, and so did Anagol009. Anyway, we should make some calls, shouldn't we? Hello, Dan. Hey, Dan, I was calling for Greg. This is Roy from the city. Or no, I'm I'm calling for Daniel. This is Daniel, right? Well, my son's Daniel, and I'm Daniel. Oh, well, I'm just, I'm calling from the city of I'm just calling to let you know we're going to be digging a hole in your yard on Monday morning. There's going to be a crew of workmen come out there Monday morning to dig a hole. Okay, why? Uh, it's just, you know, they've got to dig a hole. It's I know you have like that uh, rock wall type thing up there. They're going to be coming up above that and digging in the grass. Who are you like, and why? Right, right in the middle of the yard. 
And who are you and why? I, I already told you my name is Roy. I'm with the city of... Okay, um, it's not a city to begin with, but... Okay, the okay. county, the county, whatever. County. Yeah, yeah, thanks for correcting me. <laughs> okay. But, and yeah, it's going to be like a three-foot diameter hole, and they're going to go about six feet down. Okay, you're going to go right through my septic system. Yeah, well, they'll they'll figure that out. They've they've they know where to so, put the no, hole. I need a, yeah. <laughs> You're gonna have to explain better why you're digging a huge hole in my front yard. Well, it's, it's not me digging it. I'm just a city worker. I'm I'm just I'm just calling to let you know about it. Okay, who do I talk to who knows more about this? Well, they're they're not really doing it for a re. It's just to use up the budget for the year. This is a scam call, isn't it? Well, how would it be a scam call? That doesn't make sense. You think I'm going to Why try would you and... need to go dig a hole in somebody's yard to use up the budget for the year? I mean, what's the point of this hole? It's to use up the budget, because if we don't use up the budget, then the we won't get our federal grants You know, for the next year. Yeah, it's, okay, it's a whole is a scam. It, how is it a scam? Well, I guess it technically is a scam with the city, but it's not a scam against you. They're just using up the budget. I mean, it's not really a scam. This well, you just, can go dig a hole in somebody else's this yard. This is just how politics want, work. No, they've already surveyed your yard. They're going to do yours. Did oh, you yeah, that's nice. Um, no, they're not. Oh, no, they definitely are. Monday morning, they're going to be there about 8 o'clock. They're going to be there in trucks, and they're going to start uh, spray painting the lawn. Yeah. Where they're right. going okay. to market. The, 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 <laughs> I don't see why you find this so hard to believe. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, you, okay, you give me, okay, I got a phone number for you here on my cell phone. All right. Good job using that caller ID. All right. So, yeah, we'll okay. see you Monday so, morning then. Yeah, well, eight, if you eight, were, uh, bright and early. If you were a legitimate with the county, you would be giving me, you know, a point of contact at the county. That, you you just told me person. you have the number. Yeah, your name and uh, a name of who is in charge. That's Ed. Yeah, okay. You have a great day. Oh, you have a great day. <laughs> Thank you very much. Uh -huh. Later. Goodbye. All right, so that's good information to have. I'm not with the city. I'm with the county. I'm going to write that down. I haven't done any hole digging calls in a while. I thought this would be kind of fun. To tell some people we're digging some holes. Hello. Hello, Gail. Yes. Hey, it's Roy from <laughs> County. Um, I'm calling to let you know we're going to be digging a hole in your yard starting Monday morning. And it's going to take about three or four days. They're just going to be out there digging. There's going to be a work crew. Why are you digging a hole in my yard? Uh, it's just something they've got to do. They're digging a hole. It's just, uh, you know, just city work. Nothing to concern yourself with. Oh, I think I need more explanation before I allow you on my property. Oh, no, we don't need permission to come on your property. We're with the, the county. But my property is private, right? Well, n no, you're basically renting from us. But, uh, we're, it's, it's not a big deal. We're just going to come up there. You know, the grassy area. Uh, we're going to come up there and just uh, dig a, a large, like maybe three foot diameter hole. Just so minute, make sure you, you there's room for us to get the backhoe in. I'm putting my husband on the line because I don't, you're telling me you're from the county, you're going to dig a three foot hole somewhere in my yard and I don't have anything to say about it and you're not explaining to me why. Well, it's city work. It's very important. It can't be that important that you can't explain it to me. Who can I speak to that can explain it further? Uh, Greg. Okay, could you connect me to him, please? Um, well, he's not here. I can put Carol on. But I thought your husband was coming on. I'm here. Oh, hey. Yeah, we're, we're just going to be... He will not identify himself other than he's from the county that we don't have I did too, lady. I said my name is Roy. Shut up. Why don't you get oh, off the phone? Roy. Let, let the men Roy, talk. do us a favor. Hang up. No, you now. hang up. There is no. I ain't hanging up shit. But did you want me to... Okay, I guess they don't want to talk to Carol.
I am not doing well with these today. I guess I'm a little out of practice with hole digging. Hello. Hello, Catherine. It is. Hey there, it's Roy from County. I'm calling to let you know we're going to be digging a hole in your yard on Monday morning. There's going to be a work crew out there. In uh, my yard where? Uh, in kind of the front area. You may have seen some survey men out there. You know, it's kind of like a hill uh, on, on that side, like right in the middle where the grass is. It's, like in the middle of my yard? Yes, right in the exact middle of the yard. It's going to be about a three to four foot wide hole, and it's going to go down about six feet. Why? It's just some city work. But uh, they're going to start on Monday, they're going to work for a few days, and then they'll fill it back in on Thursday, most likely. Um, you know what? I have an issue here. I, I, need, to, I need to know, what are you doing? I want to know what you're doing. Um, we're just, I, I guess basically they're using up the budget for the rest of the year. They're What? We're just. Under, I'm sorry. You're not making sense to me. Why are you digging a hole in my yard? We're un, well. It's not me. I'm just an office worker. We're under budget for the year, so we have to spend some money. So to dig a hole in your yard, that'll eat up about three thousand dollars, because we have to keep the budget up there. So we, you know, get the same amount next year. We don't. This we doesn't don't, make sense to me. Well, we don't want to get digging a, a hole for for financial reasons. What was your name again? My name is Roy. And you're from what, calling me from where? From <laughs> County with the, the maintenance department. It, it's just city work. You don't have to worry about the hole. There's nothing you need to do. It's just going to be a hole, and they'll put everything back just the way they found it when they're all done. They've just got to dig a hole out there, and they'll have it finished by Thursday. It's just going to be... <laughs> what are they digging the hole for? To, to use you're just digging a hole to be digging a hole? To yeah. eat up money? Well, it's, it's practice. You know, well, for... you know what? You can put the $3,000 on my front porch. Oh, this no, doesn't that's... make sense to me, Roy. I need to talk to your supervisor. That would be fraud. We can't just give you $3,000. This is to use up the budget. Roy, so I, we... need to talk. I, need, I need to talk to your supervisor, please. Okay. Well, I don't really have a supervisor. I can put Carol on. She's the one in charge of, of the, the department. Put Carol on. Okay. Can you hold on Thank for you. just one second, please? Sure. All right. Jeez. Hello, this is Carol. Hi, Carol. Um, Roy is not making sense to me. He's telling me he's digging a hole in my front yard. I asked him why, and he said because you were under budget. Well, Roy is not going to be doing. That doesn't make the... sense to me. Why are you Roy... digging? Well, Roy is just an office worker. I know worker. Roy's he's... not going to be doing the digging. Okay. I know he's not going to be doing the digging. Well, Whoever he's... you send out here, why are you digging a hole in my yard? Um, it, I guess... You must be digging for something. Well, no, no, they're not digging for an actual... It's basically for training, you know? Like, they just got to train some of the new people how to properly dig holes. And... <laughs> I decline. And, you know, just... And on Thursday... And on Thursdays, I have a Bible study here at my home, and I have about 12 ladies here. We'll be all finished by and Thursday. On our street, it's a very small street uh, to begin with. Well, on, on Thursday, they're going to be finishing up. You should do Bible study in the back of the house, because it's going to be really loud out in front. Uh, Carol? Yes? I'm not, I'm not, this is not making me happy, and I'm not believing any of this. What do you mean you're not believing? Who it? are you? Call, where? What department are you for calling from? That's the street maintenance department. The street maintenance department. Correct. The county. Street department. Street and roads. And you're digging a hole in my yard for training. Well, it's really just to use up the budget because we're uh, under budget this year, and we we uh, you know if we don't use up the entire budget, we're like twenty seven thousand dollars under budget. So we're digging holes in a few yards. So it's not just you. You don't need to feel singled out or anything. We're digging holes in several yards. But, you know, it, it'll, it'll be good. It'll, uh, you know, make sure our equipment's working and train new employees on a hole digging. Carol, who is your boss? 
Carol, who is your boss? Why do you need to know my boss's name? I mean, like the, the head of the entire department would be Grega. And what's, what is, is that a man or a woman? Oh, that's a man. It's Greg with, Gre and Greg with it, two G's. And so what it's is Greg his and, number? Uh, 2815. That's his direct line. I mean, I could transfer you over there. Yeah, I'd like to, please, because I'm not dealing with this. This is, this is not, there's other issues I have going on here. And to be telling me you're digging a hole in my yard for training, I'm not happy about that. Okay. So would you please transfer me to him? I mean, it's not a big deal. It's just Thank a hole you. in the middle of the yard. It's, the, it's just something they have to it's, do. It is a big deal to me. It is a big deal to me. Please, please um, transfer me. Okay, I'll, I'll transfer you over. Can you hold on for just one minute, please? Sure, I'd okay. be glad to. Thank okay. you. Just a minute, please. All of our representatives are currently busy. Please stay on the line, and your call will be answered by the next available representative. Shut the fuck up. You're a fucking cunt. Shut the fuck up. You're a stupid cunt. Suck my dick. Aw, she hung up. I guess I'll call her back. Since we got disconnected. Hello. Hello, this is Greg from the Street and Maintenance Department. I, I guess uh, someone was trying to transfer you to me. Right. Well, whatever the the mess the uh, the the message was while I was on hold was extremely inappropriate. It was very inappropriate. What did it say? And I'm not believing any of this phone call. I, I, I'm You've got to find yourself something better to do, Greg. <laughs> okay, I, I guess that's good. She's not believing it. Hello. Hello, Patricia. Um, this is Sharon, her oh. daughter. Oh, hey, Sharon. This is Bob from the county. Um, I'm in the, the street department. I needed to let you know we're going to be doing some construction in front of your house on Monday. Okay. Uh, they're putting in an Amazon locker right in front of your house. In front, in front of my house? Yeah. Well, is it your house what? or is it Patricia's? It's my house. Oh. Well, anyway, yeah, there, it's what? just going to be a, a large Amazon locker. It's going to be the local one for your neighborhood there? No, not in front of my house. Well, it's not in front of the no, house. No, don't put it's, it in front of my house. closer to the road. Huh? It's closer to the road. They want to put an Amazon locker in front of our house. Not in front they of the house. An Amazon locker. It's, a, it's out by the road. It, it's not on our property. Yeah, well, it's going to be a little bit on your property because it's uh, building size. No, it's we, don't, be a, we don't want it on our property. I don't want it in front of my house. Why don't you want it in front of your house? I don't want an Amazon locker in front of my house. Well, it's not just for you. you yeah, can... that's <laughs> He said he'll tear it out if you put it in. So. Oh, no, you can't you tear it out. In front that's, of my house. that's vandalism. You, you can't just go around well, tearing Well, you can't legally put something in front of my house either. Yes, we can. It's, it's in the road. It's like out by the road. Settle down. I, I don't care. I don't want it in front of my house. Here. Well, what's your problem with Amazon? Who is this? Uh, this is Bob from <laughs> County. I'm just lo Will you tell her to shut up? Like, Fuck don't you, man. Don't fucking tell my wife to shut up, you piece of fucking shit. Well, no, I was asking you to tell her to Do shut up. Do not put that on my fucking property. Or I'll rip it out oh, and stuff it in your motherfucking ass. It, it's <laughs> Holy crap. That was a pretty impressive threat. I was looking at them on Google Maps as I was talking to them, and they're kind of out in the country, and their house is surrounded by thick trees. I don't see what their problem would be. It's way out there on the road. And by the way, I stole that idea from King Richard. He does a prank call show called Another Prank Call Show, and he did a whole episode of him telling people they were going to have Amazon lockers out in front of their homes with an underground conveyor belt system and everything. It's very elaborate, and people don't seem to like that. Not everybody loves Amazon as much as King Richard does. Hello? Hello, Mrs. Bonnet? Hello? Hello? Can yes? You, can you hear me? This is, yes. This is Bob from the <laughs> County Street Department. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm I'm calling to let you know we're going to be uh, installing an Amazon locker in front of your house on Monday morning. Uh, an Amazon locker. In I'm sorry, you're you're breaking up a little bit. What was that? 
Okay, just a minute. Let me take you off speaker see if that helps here. Okay. Okay, I'm an Amazon locker. Yeah, yeah, it's like a large building full of lockers, and it's going to be right on the road, you know, just right there um, as you're, you're right by your driveway, basically. It's going to be on the corner of your driveway and the road. And it'll be a large... Is this a joke? Oh, no, why would it be a joke? It's for Amazon. They're competing with the post office now. Um, do we want a large locker in front of our house? I guess would be the question. Uh, well, it's not up to you. It's, it's not just for you. It's for everybody. You know, everybody in the neighborhood, they're going to drive up to your driveway and go into the locker and get their packages. So it's just going to be like a large, um, kind of like a, it, it's a one-story building with a bunch of lockers inside. And it's uh, fully lit day and night, 24-7. Well, who wants a one-story building in front of their house that's fully lit? Well, you're way back there in the woods or something, aren't you? It's, it's out by the road. It's not really even by your house. Well, we certainly don't want one there. Well, it's not just for you. Don't, don't be selfish. It's for everyone. Well, I know. Uh, well, then put, I, I understand that, but um, I don't think anybody would want people driving in their driveway to get things out of the Amazon locker. Oh, they probably won't drive in your driveway. They'll just be pulling over. They'll, they'll be like a little mini driveway, um, you know, next to the lockers for people to park and come in and get their packages. So, uh, okay, you know. who do we have to uh, um, appeal to this for this? Oh, no, you don't get to appeal. It, it's starting on a Monday morning. They're going to pour concrete on Monday morning. They're going to pour the foundation and start working on the building. Should take them just a couple weeks to get it all fully built. It's going to be a bright orange building just on the side of the road. <laughs> okay. Um, yes, this obviously is a joke. Okay, yeah. You, you'll see Monday when they start building it. Hello? Hello, Carrie? Yes? Hello, th this is uh, Bob from the <laughs> County Street Department. Uh-huh. Maintenance Street. Um, I, I'm calling to let you know we're going to be... Uh, Putting an Amazon locker uh, right right on your street in front of your house. Uh, they're going to start construction on that on Monday, so it's going to be right in the corner of your driveway and the street. Why is that? Uh, it's an Amazon locker. It's for you know for Amazon deliveries in the neighborhood, so everyone's going to be coming up to that to get their Amazon packages. Why wouldn't it be down in the cul-de-sac? Um, by the mail. Well, the, the, this isn't the mail. This is Amazon. It, they're competitors with the mail. So they're just putting it in a different spot. Well, they, who, approved that, who, who approved that spot? Uh, I, they just, the, the city people they, in, in Amazon, they worked it all out, and we decided on the corner of your driveway and the road. So it's going to be a well, bill. I'm not happy with that. Oh, yeah. Sorry about that. I'm, I'm just so how do I disagree with that? Um, well, you don't really get a say in it. It's just going to be a small building. Then why are you calling me? I'm calling to let you know they're, they're starting construction on Monday. It's just a small building. Well, that's nice to be. I don't care. It's a small building um, full of lockers for Amazon. I know what it is. Okay, so it'll, it'll be the most convenient for you because it's right there. It's going to be a large... It's not convenient. If you, if you know our street and you know our driveways, that is not convenient at all. How are we supposed to get our trailer out? Uh, very carefully. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm, I'm done with this conversation. Okay, well, I'm, I'm just... Thank you. I'm just, like, she didn't appreciate my dad joke. I thought that was pretty clever. Hello? Oh, hello, Cindy? Yeah. Hey there, it's Bob from <laughs> County. I'm in the planning and street department maintenance department. Uh, okay. I'm call, calling to let you know we're going to be digging a hole in your front yard. Uh, they're going to start on that on Monday morning. It's going to be right there. Oh. The we're, oh, really? On Monday morning? Yep. Monday morning, the work, work crew is going to arrive from the county. Uh, they're going to have a truck and a backhoe and a bunch of people. They're going to be out there just digging a big old hole. And why is that? Uh, just, you know, it's just... It's it's work. It's it's maintenance work. They got to do it. It's just city related, county related work. 
But why maintenance work? Why but maintenance work? Why are we digging though a big hole though? Um. Well, it's to be honest, it's we're we're just under budget this year. So um, the, digging a big hole that'll just kind of eat up some more of the budget. We got to use up all the budget for the year. Okay, I'm I'm not following. Why? Are, but why are we digging a big hole? I don't understand. Because uh, we have to use up the budget for the year. Or they won't give us as much money next year, because you know we get we get money from the state and from federal and all that. So we gotta we gotta use. But you it. have to use up. Huh? But you, you need to use up some money, and so you're coming into my yard and digging a big hole. Correct, ma'am. Yep, it's just gonna it's just gonna be about three or four days of of digging in your yard, and when we leave, you'll never know we were there. It'll look just the same. Are you talking about the ditch or the yard? Oh, no, the yard. It's going to be right in the middle, like right. They, they've got a place planned out for it. They know where all the underground pipes and stuff are, wires and all that. So you don't have to worry. They're not going to dig into anything important. Um, it's just going to be a big uh, three to four foot diameter hole, basically right in the middle of the front lawn. And it's to reach some wires or something oh no no i was saying we're going to avoid you know anything that's underground we we know where everything is over there i, I just don't want you to be concerned that we're going to hit anything by accident we know what we're doing okay and i'm but, I, okay i and i need to mention this to my husband then because and your name was bob and you are with whom again i'm 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 with the <laughs> county street and planning maintenance department but yeah, it's just it's just a big hole. Uh, they're going to go down about seven feet with it, and then they're going to fill it back in. But okay, but I'm trying to understand the reason for this hole, other than to use up money. Uh, well, that's the main reason is to use up money. It's also good just to give the equipment, you know, keep the equipment running, you know, use the equipment that we have, make it seem like we need it. You know, you got to use the backhoe and the tractor and all that. The shovel you know what, Do you have a phone number and I'll have my husband call you because this doesn't make any sense oh, sure. to me at all. Well, is he what the, is your telephone can, number? Can, can't you just take the phone to him? Go fetch him? Well, no, I'm at work right now. Oh, I could call him. Do you have his number? Sure, it's 04. Okay, yeah, I could just put him on three-way if you want. No, that's okay. I like oh. I said I'm at work and I really need to be working. Okay. All right. Yeah, I can let him know. I'll let the man know. Okay. Thank you. Uh, well, who should? Bye bye. It, um, I don't. I don't even know your husband's oh. name though. We just have Cindy here on the records. Um, uh, Jerry. Oh, J Jerry. Mm-hmm. Okay. I'll give Jerry a call. Okay. Thank you. All right. Uh, hey. Bye bye. Hey, ma'am. Yes. You have yeah. a hell of a day. I will. Thank you. Sure. Bye -bye. You're welcome. Goodbye. I don't know what the hell that was. Probably Jerry is not even going to pick up. Your call has been forwarded. Maybe I should call from Cindy's number to make him pick up. Oh, this is cute. They have sequential numbers. Jerry has 04 and she has 05. Been forwarded to an... That's so romantic. Your call has been forwarded to... But Jerry's not even picking up. I called him about 100 times. Hello. Hello, Charlie. Yes. Hey, it's Bob from the county maintenance department. Yes. Um, I'm calling to let you know um, we're going to be coming out to your property on Monday. To We're going to pour a foundation in the ground for a tower. Uh, it's going to be right, right there next, right next to the road, like kind of on the corner of your driveway and the road. Okay. And, uh, what kind of is this a cell tower? Yeah, yeah, they're going to put a cell tower right there. A uh, cell tower and a communications building next to it. Uh, what are our options here? Um, well, there's there's no options. I'm just letting you know. It's just gonna it's gonna be right at the corner of your driveway. Try not to, you know, run over the cell tower when you're backing out. Well, I've got we've got two cherry trees. Is somebody going to take those cherry trees down? Uh, no, the tower will it, it'll go way over those. This is going to be a super tall tower. There's going to be a cable across your yard though to hold it up. You know, to help hold it up in high winds. There's going to be a couple of cables going across your, you know, way up in the air. You won't even notice them. 
Well, there'll be a tower in a building right in front of our driveway. Is that right? Yeah, yeah, but it's by the road. Well, we have. I guess we have no uh, vote in this at all, huh? No, pretty much not. It's it's a uh, it's for that new five G cell phone service. So you're, you're going to have okay. the best. You're going to have the best cell phone service probably of anyone around here. <laughs> well, I don't, yeah, okay. So we don't get any uh, monthly stipend for. Uh, Hosting this tower, do we? Oh no, nope, nope. That all goes to the to us and to the cellular companies. Okay, what is what is uh, how far in from the dr- from the road is the right of way? Um, well, the, the the foundation it's it's going to be like ten feet by ten feet. So it's it's going to go way into your yard. Oh, okay. Yep. Um, has has this been sighted yet with a spray can with a spray line or anything? No, nah, they'll probably come and do that tomorrow. So they're all ready for it Monday morning when they come to well, pour the f- put a whole, a whole bunch of new plantings in out out uh, near the near the driveway between our two driveways. Oh yeah, they're probably going to pour cement over those. This is not a hoax call, is it? Oh no, no, I wouldn't hoax. I'm a Christian. Yeah. So it's, it's and your just, name uh, is again, please? Uh, my name is Bob Dabalina. And Got with a G? Yep. How do you spell that, please, Bob? Uh, B-O-B. No, B like Gobelina. B- oh, Gobelina? So yeah. G-O-B-L-I-N-A. And so this a- is County Public Works? Yep, yep, that's me, Public Works. That's what I should be saying. Okay, but, but what time can we expect that? Uh, Monday morning, around 8 or 9 a.m., you know, as soon as they get out there. And uh, they'll start construction on the tower probably uh, over the coming weeks. You're not allergic. What's the, foot- what's the footprint of the building? Uh, I don't even know. I don't have so the plans. The I, just, the by 10? I just know the foundation is going to be 10 feet by 10 feet, so it's not going to be that big. I know the building is going to be bright orange, and it's going to be about one story tall. And it's going to say, uh, you know, sponsored by T-Mobile on it. There's going to be a big T-Mobile logo. Okay, I and just really have the, have the opinion that I'm being played with here, but... What? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's crazy talk. Uh, yeah, I'm just not. I'm just not used to somebody coming and say, calling me and saying, yeah, "We're going to just put this huge thing on your property," and uh, you had no prior notice. Yep. Well, you know, things move pretty quick these days. Okay. Um, you're not allergic to radio uh, radio waves, are you? Well, I don't. I don't know. Uh, we can find out, I guess. Yeah. You don't have um, like fish tanks or anything, do you? No, we don't have any fish tanks. Okay, you're going to notice, like, uh, the water in your toilet bowl and stuff. It's a lot warmer than normal once they fire up the transmitters. All right, okay. I guess there's nothing we can do. So, uh, well, just don't oh, get well, any... thank you for the notice. What's your phone number, Bob? Don't, don't get any fish, is what I'm saying. Don't, don't decide to... We, we, become... we, don't, we don't plan to. Okay, that's good. Uh, my number is... 2983. Okay. All right. Thank you much for the heads up, Bob. I appreciate it. You're welcome. Um, you're not going to get a discount on cell service either, by the way. You, know, you have to pay for it like everyone else. Well, I wouldn't expect to get a discount. Well, you were asking and earlier. To see what they're going to do to all of our plantings. You were trying to charge us rent earlier, you know, about the foundation thing. So I, just, I didn't want you to get the wrong idea. Well, <laughs> I've heard of people getting... Uh, uh, some sort of a leasing agreement where if they put a cell tower on their property, then it's uh, they get some uh, stipend for that. No, this is like a loophole because it's partially on the city property because it's you know by the road. Okay. So we we uh, All we, right. we got well, you guess, on that um, one. I guess we'll there. I'll we'll just wait there and uh, see. Yeah. Okay. Thank you very much for the heads up. Okay. Uh, you have a nice day, sir. Well, thank you, uh, Ken, right? Or Bob. Thank you, Bob. No, it's Ken. It's Ken. Mm-hmm. Okay. That's what I thought. Okay, yep. thank you very much. All right. Bye, honey. I don't think I've ever gotten anyone to believe the cell tower thing 
In fact, that might be the closest I've ever had anyone come to believing that whole thing. Because I know in the past I've called up people and told them their entire backyards are going to be a cell tower. And public works! That's what I need to say. Public works. I don't know why I never thought of that before. That's so obvious. Hello? Hello? Oh, hello, Ruth? Yes. Hey there. Uh, th this is Bob Dabalina from the <laughs> County Public Works Department. Uh-huh. Um, I'm calling to let you know we're going to be parking one of our trucks in your driveway uh, starting on Monday morning. It's just going to be for a couple weeks. Are you talking at, um, at the art school? In yeah, yeah, at the, on the northwest. Okay. But, yeah. And where are you parking this? Uh, it's, it's the mosquito truck. We're going to park uh, five of them just in the parking spaces 24-7. In the front of the building or the back by the park? On the front. And when is this starting? Uh, Monday morning. And they're going to be there for about just, you know, two weeks probably. They're just painting the floors. Two weeks? And yeah, they're painting the floors at the, in the garage. So, all right, I'm confused. So you're saying that my people that come to my business will not be able to get in the front. Is that correct? Well, they got the parking in the back. Right, but our our customers don't park in the back. Our staff does, but the customers don't. Yeah, well, you're gonna to have to tell the customers park in the back because we're gonna park in the we're gonna take the spaces in the front. But we're only taking five of them. Well, we have only three, so. Oh, I guess the others belong to that place next door. Is it a massage place or something? There, yeah. There's three businesses in the building. Yeah, there's that little cubby between the buildings. We could park one of the trucks in there. Yeah, maybe we can just scoot them really um, close together so we can fit, like, four trucks into three spaces. Yeah, I don't know how you're going to do it, but, like, there's a, a school at one end of the building for, um, you know, Spanish school. Uh-huh. And then there's ours at the other end, and there's another business in between. The business in between, there's, you know, people don't generally come there through the front. Yeah. Um, but... Both the other school and our school, you know, the customers come in through the front. So are you going to put signage up to give them a, a notice to go to the back? or how? Are, no, you I can mean, do you that. You're going to block it? You're the art place. You know, paint a sign. Well, yeah, except that we don't have any time to do that between now and Monday, and we have classes over the weekend, and, um, yeah. All right, so you're just saying you're doing it. We have no choice. Is that what you're telling me? Yeah, well, we just need a place to park the mosquito trucks okay. while they paint the floors. And you can't do it in the giant parking lot and, and then the side of the building or in the back of the building? Why do you need to uh, take our front? I don't, it just seems, you know, out and back seems sketchy. We don't, we don't want anyone to break into the trucks. All right, so you're basically telling me that's what you're doing. Yeah. Is that correct? Yeah. yeah. Okay. All right. All right. You know, you, we don't have any choice. This is county, correct? Correct. Yeah, I'm in the Department of Public Works. Okay. Um. Yeah. We're just we're just gonna we we might bring some other cars out there too. You know, you just fill up all the spaces over at the massage place too. Got to put them somewhere. Okay, I, but that's what I'm saying. Why can't you put them in the back? We have spaces in the back that are not for customers, well, we and might, our staff can park somewhere else. Yeah, we might use those too. To be honest, we're we're, uh, we're painting the floors of the whole. So you're just taking all our our parking. Yeah, well, it's not a big deal. It's just for a couple of weeks. Well, that's a big deal to us when we have people that come with little children and they have to get into the building. Yeah, just tell them to park yeah, across so the it street. Is a big, there's there's parking across the street. They could just walk across the street. It's not a busy right. not a busy street or anything. All right. Okay. D just be like, you know what? You're you're fat. You can walk a little bit, right? That's what I'd say to him. I I think that we're done. Thank you for calling. All right. Thank you. Well, that didn't work out how I wanted it to. I was looking up her address as it was ringing. And for some reason, it's the address of a business, an art place of some sort. I thought it'd be funnier if they wanted to park their trucks in some 
personal driveway somewhere. I didn't know I was getting a business. Hello. Hello, William. Who's speaking? Uh, this is Bob from the County Public Works Department. Okay. Uh, I'm just calling to let you know we're going to be parking one of our trucks in your driveway. Uh, they're going to drop it off tomorrow. Uh, when are they going to do that? Uh, tomorrow. I mean, oh, when? In the, in the morning? Afternoon? Oh, yeah, probably in the afternoon. You know, just whenever they get around to it. They're just going to leave it there for about two weeks. Oh, in the driveway? Yeah. <sighs> we just need a place to put uh, it. It's just one truck. Well, if you could make sure it's to the far, as you enter it, to the far left. Otherwise, we can't get our cars out of the dry, out of the. Oh, out of the well, garage. can you just park in the street? Uh, well, we can park on the street, but we prefer not to. There have been break-ins around here. So all I have to do is move the car to the far left. There's a three, it's a three-car garage, and if you park in front of the left, that would work. Okay, all right. Well, it's, it's kind of a big truck, though. It's the Mosquito truck. We'll, we'll get it. We'll get it as far over as we can. Far left as you can. Otherwise, yeah. we're up the creek. And and what time? Any idea what time they're going to bring it in? Uh, just tomorrow. Tomorrow, probably afternoon. Okay. And what? Why are they? Why did you pick my driveway out? Of, just because it's convenient, or uh, yeah, just you know, threw, threw, threw a dart at the map and then landed on your house. So it's just going to be for about two weeks. Yeah, I know, but we still have to get in and out all the time, and I don't want to park in the road for two weeks because there's too many break-ins in the area. Yeah. Okay. It'll probably be fine. There probably won't be any break-ins, you know, just for the next two weeks. Well, let's hope not. Okay. All right. Well, I guess we'll see you when you get here. Okay. Um, hey. Uh, also, we're going to have the city employees. They're going to come out there and take their break uh, tomorrow on your property. They're just going to hang out and smoke. You mean near the truck? Yeah, yeah, they're gonna, they're just gonna turn on the radio. And... I, I, I guess I don't know that we have anything to say about it, do we? Well, I mean, I hope not. Like, what, why would you tell them no? They're just, they're just out there smoking and listening to music. Okay, well, that's, I guess that's okay as long as they don't cause any harm, any damage, and things like that. Yeah, what's well, gonna be gangster rap? Oh, yeah, right. That's good. Love it. Well, there's, not, there's <laughs> nothing joking, wrong with. Right? No. Oh. No, it's it's okay, it's, well, it's Chad. It's, it's not it's, he, it's not my thing, but that's I what can I say? It's only going to be for their breaks, right? Yeah, yeah, just for the next 2 weeks. And what are they doing up here if I may ask? Oh, they don't they they're not doing anything. We just needed a random place to park our truck. Yeah, but what 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 kind of work are you doing that you need to have a place to park your truck here? Oh, that um it, it, we we set up a big table in the garage where the truck's normally parked. Yeah. Uh, we're doing, we're doing a, jig, a jigsaw puzzle. You know, this whole thing sounds like weird to me. Are you sure you're legitimate? This, this sounds like, like of something course. out of a... Out of a what? Okay, well, I'll be, look, I'll be looking for some identification when they show up. Oh, yeah. No, you'll see it's a city truck. It's labeled and everything. Okay. And they're all going to have orange vests on and stuff. Is it a county truck? Yeah, yep, yep. Public Works Department. It's going to be the mosquito truck. You're not allergic to um, the chemicals, are you? Uh, don't uh, think so. so I'm, I'm telling you, that, that mosquito truck, it leaks. <sighs> this whole thing sounds a little hoaxy, but we'll see what happens. We'll, we'll be here when you get here. Yeah, I mean, we're glad to have it out of the garage, to be honest. It was smelling up the whole place. Well, but, so you're going to smell up our place? Well, no, you're, it's outdoors, so it'll be fine. But All it's, right. it's just until we finish this puzzle. Uh, good. Hope you work hard on it. Oh, we will. It's a big one. It's like 5,000 right. pieces. Okay. All right. Uh, we'll see. We'll see when they get here. Um, I, 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 I have mixed emotions about the whole thing, frankly. Oh, okay. I mean, can't you park somewhere like in, in, the, in the mall? No. No, they don't. We're not allowed there anymore. You're not allowed there. Uh, but you're allowed in public land, pu private land. Yeah, well, you said we could. Well, I sort, I sort of said you could. I'm, it's getting weirder by the minute. I thought it was going to be like for a couple of hours where they did some work in the area. Oh, no, no, we're not doing any work around over there. 
Uh, I'm just, just going to park the truck there, that's all. What is your name again? Uh, my name is Bob. Bob Dabalina. Uh, Bob who? Dabalina. Bobalina. Dabalina. That's your... D? Yeah, D-O-B. Bob Dabalina. Okay. I will. Uh, and your county. Correct, yeah. Works. Yep, yep. It, you'll see it right there on the truck. Right on the door. Okay. All right. All right. We are looking forward to it. Not really, but we're looking forward to it, maybe. All right. Yeah, hopefully Thank the you. hopefully the truck's alarm won't go off in the middle of the night. It always goes off in the middle of the night. You know, this, this this is sounding like a hoax and a prank to me right now. The more you talk, the more it sounds like a prank. Well, I'm, Smells I'm just, bad, alarm goes off, two weeks, doing a puzzle. Sounds like a prank. No, it's one of those old alarms see, from when the you 90s. Here, I may be making some phone calls. Okay. Bye. Oh, I couldn't hold it together on that one. I wonder who he's going to call. He's going to be making some calls. Hello. Hello, Kim. Hello. Hi, Kim. It's Bob. I'm with the County Public Works Department. Oh, hi there. How are you? Pretty good. Uh, I'm just calling to let you know we're going to be parking one of our trucks in your driveway. Uh, we're going to bring it over tomorrow. I'm sorry, what? Uh, in, your, in your driveway there on uh, Road. So we don't live at Road. Oh, you don't? Anymore. Oh, okay. No. Oh. Did you? Okay. Um, yeah, I guess we don't have to ask permission then. We're we're I'm, we're just gonna park our one of our trucks in that driveway. Well, someone else, someone else owns that house now. Well, you know, I I don't even know how to get a hold of them, so we're just gonna show up and park it there. So why are you going to park it there? Uh, well, it's none of your business. You don't even live there. Okay. Well, but I'm just, it's very weird that you would have to call and tell me that you're going to park your car somewhere rather than calling to ask me if you could do it. It's just very bizarre. Okay. Well, no, we don't have to okay. ask. We're the city. Okay. You know, the whole, the whole city's our playground, basically. We can do whatever we want. So, okay. it's just the, the mosquito truck. We're going to be parking the mosquito truck in that driveway. Okay. What'd you move for? Uh, we moved. Why? Um, well, I don't really want to get into it. Um, is there anything else I can help you with? Well, is it a bad neighborhood? Is there anything else I can help you with? Well, I'm just asking because we don't want our truck to get broken into. So, um, I guess since um, I no longer live there, I guess I should probably go ahead and just let you make sure that you contact the people who live there to be able to get that information. Thank you so much. Wow. Bye. Wow. Attitude. I should have asked her if it was because of a divorce. Be like, did he get the house? Hello. Hello, Diane? Yes? Hey there, it's Bob from the County Public Works Department. Yes. And uh, I'm calling to let you know we're going to be parking one of our trucks in your driveway. We're going to bring it over tomorrow. Okay. Um, is this for doing the roads? Uh, well, no, we're not doing anything in that area. We just, we just uh, need a place to park our truck for a little bit. It's just going to be for a couple of weeks. Okay, well, I have an out-of-town company, so I have multiple cars going on in the driveway. Oh, can they park in the r road or something? Um, I will have them, yeah. I have a, a two-lane paved driveway, and I mm -hmm. have a pebble area. Can you park your truck in the pebbled area? Can we park in the grass? Um. Yeah, under the apple tree area out front. Okay. On the corner. Oh, it you sounds. Can park there, or even alongside my property on 82nd. How many trucks? There's parking. Oh, how, how many? How many trucks do you think we could fit in there? On the side on 82nd. Mm -hmm. You could probably put three trucks. I bet you we could do four. Along the road, you know, alongside the road. Well, no, we want to park in your yard, in the grass. It'll be on the grass. Yeah, yeah, we're going to park like four trucks in your grass. Okay, and how long are they going to be there? About seven weeks, that's all. Seven weeks. Yeah. Are you kidding me? How am I going to be cutting that grass? Uh, just let it grow around the trucks. It's not a big deal. We could leave you the keys and you could just move them out of the way when you want to mow. Oh, my God. Whose plan is this? Uh, it was mine. 
Mine personally, yeah, we're just we're we're painting our uh, the the floor of our garage, so we need a place to park our trucks. Oh. <laughs> okay. So, what's your last name, Bob? Dabalina. Do you mind? Dabalina. Yeah. Do you mind if while we're out there, we dig a hole in your yard? Yeah. Well, that's not going to happen. Why not? Because. Is this another bogus call from the county? Another bogus call? Have you gotten them before? Yeah. What did they say before? It, it's it's uh, sim similar, but um, oh. what what is the what's the job that you're going to be doing? In well, the no, road? we we've heard about um, like prank calls coming into residents. Like, what did they say to you? Because uh, I, I uh, we we had quite a few uh, complaints come into the city department about digging holes in the yard. Really? That's crazy. A lot of people well, got that same you, prank. What do you plan on digging? Oh no, we were just asking, you know, while we're out there. But we we don't have to we don't have to dig. It's not a big deal. Good. We're just gonna park. Well, you trucks. can park along eighty second. I don't care about that. No, we're gonna park in the yard. It, it'll be in the yard on eighty sec along eighty second street. Okay. All right. Okay. Sounds good to me. Okay. We're gonna bring a backhoe in also. Whatever. But we don't. We're not going to dig with it, okay? Good thing. Yep. All right. And what kind of work are you going to be doing in the roads? Oh, we're not doing any work around there. We just needed a place to park our trucks for a little while. So what's the backhoe for? Uh, it, we just need it out of the garage. We're we're cleaning the the city garage. And you're going to come all the way up into our subdivision to park your car? Yeah. Your trucks. It's not that far of a drive. Why? I mean, you've got all that parking lot at this water company up there. Why don't you park it up there? Well, we don't. They'll make the whole neighborhood look like a bunch of hobos live there. We don't, you know, parking. Well, what do you think it's going to look like here? Yeah, but, you know, th this is like the city. We've got to look good, you know, just for the people. We don't care if, you know, you have trucks in your yard. Uh, this isn't a city, in case you know. It's, it's well, unincorporated. Whatever, whatever. You don't have to nitpick everything. Well, you may not be parking in my yard then. Why? Have a good day. You're going to be a jerk about it now? What the hell? Have I called this area before? There's no way. This is I'm calling from a list that Reggie sent me recently. And this list has, I don't know, thousands of people on it. But I guess it's possible maybe I was doing the same thing from another list in the same area. What the hell? How did that happen? And I just happened to call the same lady? Like, what are the odds of that? This is Mr. Biggs. This episode of the Snowplow Show is brought to you by Powder Milk Biscuits, the National Endowment for the Arts, the Corporation for Public Phone Pranking, and from listeners like you. Hello? Hello, Kitty? Yes? Hey there, uh, this is Bob from the County Public Works Department. Yes! Uh, I'm calling to let you know we're going to be digging a hole in your yard on Monday. You're going to be digging a hole in my yard on Monday? Yep, right in the front yard, right in the middle. We're just going to be digging a oh, l large hole. Oh, there you go. Really, truly? What? Really, truly? Oh, yeah, yeah. Yep, yep. Uh, right in the grassy area. I know you have a lot of landscaped stuff out there. So we picked... <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we picked the just the flat, grassy area right there by the road. <laughs> Which which flat grassy area right by the road? Uh, well, you mean it just yeah, like if you're looking at the house, kind of over to the right. Okay, it's the only grass I have. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna be get, digging a hole right in the middle of that. Uh, we already checked. There's no you know pipes or anything we have to worry about. It's gonna be about three feet three feet wide, and we're probably gonna go down about seven feet. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll be out of there by Thursday, though. Should just take, you know, maybe four days tops to dig a hole and fill it back in. Is this, real, is this really true, what you're saying to me? Why wouldn't it be true? I'm with the county, man. We don't joke here. <laughs> okay. What, what's so what's funny? What's about... <laughs> What, what, why are you laughing? What, what's so funny? <laughs> Who is this, really? I'm going to call you Giggles. 
That's what you should call me, Giggles. Okay, We're, that's how I'm going to have all the workmen refer to you while they're digging the hole in your yard. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> right. <laughs> yep, that's what's going to happen. Anyway, uh, yeah, there's just going to be a lot of trucks and workmen out there and flagmen for the traffic. And, uh, yeah, it's just going to be a... It's going to be a mess out there for a few days. And, and really and truly, what are we doing out here? Uh, digging a hole. And it's going to be for the water main? Is that what this is for? Oh, no. No, there's no... I, I know this is going to sound weird, but we're just trying to uh, use up the rest of the budget for the year. <laughs> is, this a, is this the county, right? Correct, yeah. You sure, you sure it's not the federal government? Because we do that all the time. Well, no, the federal <laughs> government, they give us money, but uh, if we don't use it all up, <laughs> if we don't use it all up, they won't, <laughs> they won't give us uh, all okay. that money. All right, well, then I'll see you tomorrow. All right, no, Monday, Monday morning. All uh, right, I'll see you Monday morning. Yeah, tomorrow they're going to come out. There's just going to be one guy that comes out tomorrow, maybe two, and they're going to spray paint your lawn. <laughs> okay, <laughs> come, come on, come all along. <laughs> <laughs> you know, just so we know where the pipes and stuff are. What pipes? <laughs> well, you know, it's just any water pipes or just anything down there, you know. <laughs> we got to mark all that stuff, oh. spray paint. After you, after you dig it up, of course, that's a good time to mark it. Yeah. No, no, we're digging on Monday. You're not listening, Jesus. No, I've got that part. Okay, yeah, we're coming out tomorrow to spray paint the lawn. Yeah, there you go. Hopefully it's not a windy right. day and it doesn't, you know, the paint doesn't come up and get on your windows and siding and stuff. Yeah, let's just hope. Yep. I'll keep my fingers okay. crossed. All right, you keep them crossed. All right. Okay. Bye, honey. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Well, she was awesome. Hello? Hello, Mrs. Yes. Hey there, uh, this is Bob from the Public Works Department here in... Okay. And uh, I'm calling to let you know we're going to be changing the name of your street on Monday. You're kidding. No, so you're not going to technically live on Place Southeast anymore? They're changing the name of our street. This is, are you, is this a joke? No, why would I joke about this? I don't know. Okay. Um, no, you're going to live at... 52, the, new, the name of the new street's going to be Cannabis Circle Southeast. Oh. <laughs> she does not approve of that. Either that or she just knew I was joking. Hello. Hello, Deborah. Yes. Hey there, uh, this is Bob from the Public Works Department here in... Hi. Hi, I was calling to let you know we're going to be changing the name of your street on Monday... What? They're going to... Um, no. What do you mean, no? I don't like to vote. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Sorry. No, it's, uh, it's changed already. Uh, they're going to change the signs on Monday. Really? So, when did this happen? And why? Uh, they just... I don't know. They just voted on a few streets around the city to get changed to a new street name. Who did? Uh, just t here in the city. Uh, they, they just kind of needed to, you know, put some new names in there and shake things up a little bit. So you're okay, not, you're for, so for those of us who've lived on this street for 35, almost 40 years, they didn't think about us? Well, no, it's fine. It's just going to be a different name. It's not like you have to move or anything. It's just a different name, that's all. I've always lived on <laughs> Lane. Well, not anymore. Starting on Monday, you're going to live on uh, Cannabis Circle Southeast? No, I'm not. What do you mean? No Is this a joke? No, why would I kid about this? Because I don't... I. I I'm not sure I know who you are. Uh, no, when you, did this you wouldn't know me. I, I work for the city. I'm, I'm in the public works department. My name is Bob. Um, I, I'm just calling up everyone that lives on the street to let everyone know that it's officially changing tomorrow. There was, there was a public meeting about it. You, you must have. When? Uh, yeah, I must have. Yeah, you must have missed it. Uh, it's been a f several months ago. Okay. So uh, your house number is the same. 1965, it's just going to be Cannabis Lane Southeast. So I'm on a drug road now. 
Well, it's not. It's not like that. It's a. Uh, you know, it's a. It is like that. I'm sorry. I'm. I know you're. You're just sending a message, but it's a sad, sad message. No, it's. We we make a lot of tax money from cannabis. And where does that tax money go? Uh, I don't know. Yeah. I I don't get it. Yeah. Neither do I. So. Yeah. <laughs> okay. If this is a serious phone call, uh, somebody will be hearing from me. Okay, well, there's not much you can do about it. It's, it's been voted on, and uh, you should have taken more of an interest in public affairs. Well, I do take an interest in public affairs. I just don't, I apparently don't get on the websites that notify us that there's going to be a discussion about name changes. Yeah, yep, well, you should have, because now your, your street name is Cannabis Lane Southeast. And this, the city council voted on this. Yeah, yeah, we all voted on it. Um, we actually said that... Who's we? You said you're just an employee. Well, yeah, I'm on the council too, though. This is Bob Dabalina. Yeah, but we were, we were just saying, you know, like, it sounded really gay anyway. It's kind of a gay street name. Okay, this is a joke. No, I, I wouldn't kid about this. No, this is a joke, because you wouldn't be talking to me like this. No, I, I'm talking to you like what? You're being ridiculously obnoxious about it. Why would you say that? I'm just, I'm just letting you know. <laughs> okay. Well, a gay street name, Cannabis Court, Lane, whatever. Yeah, what's Am the... I, it, it, is this a joke of some sort? Why would I joke about this? That doesn't even make any sense. I have a job to do here. I'm not allowed to call okay. up people and make jokes. Okay, I, I have no idea what you're up to, but I, I will reach out and find out if you're just pulling my leg. Well, just wait till Monday. You'll see him change your street sign. You said it was tomorrow. No, I said it was on Monday. Pretty sure you said tomorrow. But uh, okay, I think you're just thanks, hearing, I, you're hearing things. You're probably on drugs. Uh, she hung up. She didn't even hear that part. Did I say tomorrow? I may have. I thought I said Monday, though. I guess I need to stop saying the cannabis thing. I'm looking on this list on the PLA Facebook group at the other names people picked out. Hello. Hello, Deanna? Yes. Hey there, this is Bob from the Public Works Department here. Uh-huh. And uh, I was calling to let you know we're uh, changing the name of your street over tomorrow. I mean, not tomorrow, on Monday. Uh, they're going to be putting up the new street signs. Did you get the letter in the mail about that? No. Okay. Um, yep, there's, there, you're not going to live on avenue anymore the new street yeah and so what it's going to be what is it going to be then uh you're gonna it's going to be the same house number it'll be 841 bill cosby avenue southeast uh that sounds very bizarre why do you say that um because there would be no reason to do that so well, no, can i get your number and call you back sure if you want to uh are you ready I mean, you just look at your and caller. And what's your name again? Uh, this is Bob Dabalina. I'm with the Public Works Department. Yeah, we're changing, uh, you know, correct, yeah. Yeah, we're changing several. Well, I don't live in, I live in the county. Yeah, but the street's still a part of our jurisdiction. So we're changing, uh, you know, you're no longer going to live on Avenue. It's going to be Bill Cosby Avenue Southeast. Mm-hmm. And what's your last name? Dabalina. Like, why do you seem to have a problem with this? I, I don't need you to confirm anything with me. They'll be out on Monday to change the street signs. And um, what's your phone number? Uh, just look on your caller ID. Quit being lazy. I don't have caller ID oh, on that's my weird. phone. That's bizarre. What's your phone I mean, number? It's 2019. You'd think everyone would have caller ID at this point. You're really rude for a public employee. What's your phone well, number? I'm fine. It's 420-6969. Okay. And you're being kind of rude, to be honest. Well, I think it's pretty bizarre. It's a bizarre uh, considering that Bill Cosby was uh, convicted of uh, sexually assaulting women. So. Yeah, but they made the decision before all that happened and, you know, just kind of it went ahead and uh -huh. got pushed through. And I haven't gotten anything in the mail, so... Oh, uh, you probably threw it away. You I probably thought it was really junk mail. Bizarre. Okay, well, I'll be calling. Thanks. You'll be calling what? For what? You don't get to object to this. It's, it's happening. Okay, I'm giving up on this whole street name thing. I'm giving up on the show today. I've been making calls forever now. 
About a year ago, I asked in the PLA Facebook group for people to come up with street names. And looking at this list of street names makes me realize I really need to do this again because there are some amazing street names in here. There's Cannabis Circle, that one is Jack's, White People Boulevard, American Genocide Avenue, Bob Murphy Lane, that one's from Paul, Come Fart Circle, Carrot Top Lane, Danger Zone Highway, that one's from Tristan, Donald Trump Way. Oh, I like this one from Tristan. Call it Sesame Street and then call them Oscar for being grouchy about it. Uh, that's a good one. Fart Face Lane, Stupid Bitch Street. Yeah, how did I stop doing these? I need to do more of these. Jeffrey Dahmer Drive. It looks like Bill Cosby was from Miguel. Thanks for that one, Miguel. That last lady does not approve of it. Chlamydia Lane, Herpes Heights, Labia Lane. Okay, I'm going to stop reading these. It's time for voicemails. Shut the fuck up, you're a fucking gun. Wow. Not oh, not you, bro. Somebody else. Anyway, I was listening to your voicemails. Uh, this is Rubric. And the hey, uh, guy was talking about having a dream about eating carrot chopping and doing it. I've thought about that uh, more than a, a few times. He's come close, but not close enough for me to go. And I would actually endure an hour or whatever his segment is. What are we talking just about? To ransack him. I would need some PLA gear, stickers, whatever. Yeah. And most importantly, get a get a picture. Can you imagine that for either your show notes and your screensaver or whatever? Fucking carrot top with the PLA shirt on or at least in his hand or maybe I'm put throwing a sticker on his That'd head. That'd be amazing. It's, we, we need to make this happen, uh, Fun Losers community. Yes, please, community. Uh, do I that. Mean, he's not that big of a star tomorrow. All right, this is a long voicemail, but I agree. Somebody befriend Carrot Top and make him wear a PLA shirt and get photos. And I got red. This is Wild Rabbit again. Hey. I'm calling from the payphone. I'm calling from that payphone I posted on Facebook. Whoa. I'm Trevor Johnson, that's my name. That's so I'm interesting. On a payphone. I wasted one whole dollar on this. All right. I hope it's worth it. Check. Good job wasting money on a payphone call. Hey, Neon. It's, it's Brandon again. I put the... I put the tracker on Brad's car, so um, just make sure you, let, you call me back and let me know. All right, I'll do that. Thanks, Brandon. I guess this means I have to delete the other voicemail that you left before that voicemail. you just calling in partly because I was wondering what the new message would be. Uh, not bad. Thanks. Pretty funny. Also, uh, I wanted to recommend a podcast I found called Darknet Diaries. Oh, yeah. It's a pretty good episode on PBX hacking. I don't know. I found it pretty entertaining. Yeah. Just throwing that out there. If there's there's for- also an episode of Darknet Diaries. Maybe it hadn't come out yet when you left this message because this voicemail is from a week ago. But they just came out with an episode about Skunk Works, about the whole Skunk Works thing. It's a very well put together episode about Skunk Works. And I highly recommend listening to it. The whole podcast looks pretty cool. I do have the PBX hacking one queued up on my podcast app that's the next one i plan to listen to but there's some other ones in there too they look pretty good seems like a good show everyone check it out darknet diaries the latest episode is called three alarm lamp scooter whatever he called himself and that one is all about skunk works the podcast give it a try it's a good one to go to yeah it's a good one all right thanks Dark. That was a very funny message, you little fuck boy, you. Uh, I wanted okay. to say I really love your show. I listen to it very, Thanks. very often. Oh, Thank I really you. love it. I don't want to take too much time because, oh, shit, got to go get it in between the 30 fucking seconds there. That's right. But okay, fuck. You did a good job, though. You made your voicemail exactly 30 seconds long, and I played exactly 20 seconds of it. Hey Brad, this is Zach the Drifter from St. Louis, Missouri. Hey, I just wanted Zach. to say that I love your show, listen every day. Thanks, um, Zach. I'm pretty sure I've rewatched half of your Snowplow show podcast. That's great. At least two times over. Yeah, that's it. Goodbye. Okay, all right. That payphone you're calling from sounds awful. Don't ever use that payphone again. Hi Brad, why don't you do live shows anymore? I used to do it so much. Uh, yeah. The live shows. I should do more live shows. Uh, I should do one this weekend. I can't even hear you. You're, it's so quiet, I can't even turn it up. But I think the main reason is because my Mixler expired. I mean, that's not much of an excuse because I can just do live shows on Facebook and on YouTube and anywhere else. 
And now I've been using that other Mixler, which everyone should add to their Mixler accounts, by the way. It's Mixler.com slash is this thing on. That's what we've been broadcasting the Hang Up the Phone show on, which we did last night. Took a bunch of calls. It was fun. But I think next time I do a live show, I should probably put it on Mixler too. Put it on that Mixler or maybe just reconnect my old Mixler. But I'll do live shows again one of these years. I promise. (laughs) Holy shit, Brad. Hey, it's your boy, uh, deep in the heart of Texas. Hey, Uh, hey, call me back uh, whenever you can. All right. Hey, uh, just wanted to say, man, uh, your show has been very transforming for my life, man. Uh, No joke. Uh, Whoa. I have built a lot of confidence uh, talking on the phone, and honestly, it's impacted even my work really well. I'm glad my Uh, constant lies over the telephone. I've been transforming for I'm you. I'm a long talking person, especially those fucking dirty Indians. They, uh, wow. I tend to just go, wow, like, yeah, dirty Indians. You know, and just kind of like copy shit that you're doing. Uh, I've even, uh, I've even done the same phonetic alphabet and it's, uh, it made me more comfortable around the phone. That's good. Uh, so That's I want to say, hey, thanks. Uh, thanks for providing that life. Now we just got to uh, do away with your racism. That's kind of life change for me. Anyways, yeah, hey, yeah. Uh, Roy, Brad, Carter, whatever the fuck. Uh, Your time's almost up. You got five seconds. Uh, I want to ask you, um, do you have like a download link for uh, five, songs on four, your show? Because the main songs are two, always stuck in my fucking one. head no matter what I'm doing. And um, uh, move your head, honey. <sighs> All right. Um, Sorry. All right, bye. Thanks for the voicemail. Glad my show is transformative. This guy's voicemail is three minutes long. I'm looking through the transcript of it. It looks like he's just rambling a bunch. But no, there is no playlist for the show exactly. But somebody just recently, and I don't know if I'll be able to find it to put this in the show notes, but somebody started up a Spotify playlist of all of the songs they know that I've played on the show in the past or regularly. So that might be a good place to go. Um, I think it was posted in the Facebook group, facebook.com slash groups slash go away PLA. It was posted just a couple days ago, so it should be fairly easy to find. That's probably the best place to find all of the phone show music. I don't maintain one myself, but look in the show notes for this episode on snowplowshow.com. Hopefully, I will find a link to that for you. Oh, crap. You didn't give me enough time to think about what I was going to say. This is Micro Corgi calling from East of the Rockies. Hey, Micro Corgi. Uh, your shows are having a direct influence on my life. Yay. Your, uh, your last Will Assessment show has been pretty good, but last night I actually had a dream that I did one of those calls ended up talking to this really nice lady who was disappointed that her neighbor died. So I ended up taking two boxes of beef jerky over that's, to her apartment. That's a depressing dream. And she was really nice, and we became friends. Aww. She was like this little old lady. That's nice. So maybe I'll actually do that. I'll just start calling people and take them boxes of beef jerky. And yeah, new yeah. Friends. Old All people, you, they'll talk to you. Listeners should do the same. Brighten someone's day with processed meat. All right. Gotta go yep. Brad. All listeners, I'll see you later. do that. Man, so many voicemails. I'm quitting on the voicemails for now. I still need to do another show this week, so hopefully I'll play the rest of these voicemails on the next show if I manage to do a show within the next two days. Thank you, everybody, for listening to the show. Thanks for all the voicemails. Thank you, sponsors of today's show, like Mr. John and Another Prank Call Show, Ryan Jardina, Anagol009, and The Mad Weasel. If you'd like to support the show, you can do that by going to patreon.com slash phone losers, phone losers.com slash cactus, and new project to slash phone losers. People are actually using that site, and I bet you it's easier to set up on a podcast feed than phone losers.com, so that might be a good alternative for you. Here's a song by Three Dale Chase. This one was requested by Kyle. At Def Con, gave me the alias Ginger Hit, badass brainy chick. I am a bitch from hell, and I will find out who you are, you little prick. Go swallow some cum, you little faggot.